Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Service Demo Hi, I understand Oracle Database is available in flexible configurations with the performance of dedicated hardware. What tools exist to deploy a DB system? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure offers fine, granular access control for the management of DB systems. You can use the console or the REST APIs with an SDK, CLI, or Terraform to set up a database on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. However, you might require a policy-defined access written by an administrator. This is because the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure database service is integrated with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identity and Access Management, IAM, for governance and security. Can you also demonstrate how to set up a database instance through the console? Sure. Log into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. Select the Unified Navigation menu at the top left corner. Select Bare Metal, VM, and Exadata under Database. Choose the compartment you want to launch the DB system in and click the Launch DB System button. The database widget displays a form where you fill the details of the DB system you plan to launch. Display name. Enter a user display name. Availability domain. This is the availability domain where the DB system resides. Shape. Choose the shape for launching the DB system. The shape determines the type of DB system and the resources allocated to the system. The database widget will display details based on the selected shape. For this demo, we will select the shape type virtual machine and shape vm.standard2.4. Total node count. This number depends on the shape you select. vm.standard2.1 and vm.standard1.1 are single-node DB systems. This field appears only if you have selected VM2.2 shapes or higher and allows setting up a real application cluster, or RAC, system. The Oracle Database Software Edition is pre-selected for a RAC system. You need to fill in details such as available storage size and total storage. Next, you need to select the license type and add the SSH key. You will need to generate the SSH key pair. You can choose to add it as a file or paste the key directly into the box. Next, you need to fill in the network information, such as VCN, client subnet, host name prefix, the host domain name, and the host and domain URL will be derived automatically. Finally, you must fill in the identifiers for your database instance, like the database name and version. Set the admin password based on the given criteria. You can also enable automatic incremental backups for this database. Then, choose your database workload. Optionally, you can apply tags based on permission levels. You're now ready to launch the database instance. Click the Launch DB System button to initiate. After a provisioning window, your database instance will be available. Click the name of the database system to view its details. You can scale the storage up or down as per your requirement, add SSH keys, and terminate the instance from this page. To scale storage up, click Scale Storage Up, and then select the new storage size from the drop-down list of available data storage. Click the Scale Storage Up button to finish. Likewise, you can choose a BM shape in the Create Database Wizard and create a bare metal database system too. Here is an example of a BM database instance created. To scale up or down CPU core count, click Scale Up or Down CPU Core Count and then change the number in CPU core count based on the shape used when the DB system was launched. Click the Scale Up or Down button to finish. This will scale up the CPUs on the system online. 
To create additional databases, click the Create Database button. In the Create Database dialog box, enter details for the field, such as database name, database version, admin password. The Pluggable Database PDB name field is optional. Select the checkbox to enable automatic incremental backups for this database. Finally, select the workload type that best suits your application and then click Create Database. When the database creation is complete, the status changes from Provisioning to Available. Here is a quick overview of the following operations. Create backups. Enable Data Guard. Apply patches. To create a backup, click Create Backup. In the Create Backup dialog box, provide a suitable name for the backup. And then click Create Backup. When the backup creation is complete, the backups will be listed under the database details. Alternatively, you can navigate by clicking Backups under Resources on the left pane. Oracle Data Guard ensures high availability, data protection, and disaster recovery for enterprise data. To enable Data Guard, click the Actions icon for the database you are interested in, and then click Enable Data Guard. In the Enable Data Guard dialog box, configure your Data Guard association. Select the DB system that will contain the peer or standby database. The console supports only maximum performance for the protection mode field and supports only async for the transport type. Then enter the primary database admin password. Finally, click Enable. To patch a DB system, click Patches under Resources. Click the Actions icon for the patch you are interested in and then click Apply. Confirm the prompt. When the operation completes successfully, the applied patch will be listed as Available. Great! Thanks for the exhaustive overview. You're welcome. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.